It's Monday the 8th of February 2021 and welcome to another Timeware Community Podcast. My name's Simon Birchall and with me I have the mysterious Mike Coop. How are you doing Hello. Mike? You okay? <laughs> yeah. And we've got a special guest with us today. Could you introduce yourself? It's Zach Dawson from Support Team One. And what do you do for the company? I'm a support technician. I do SLA upgrades around the country for the customers. Are you enjoying yourself? Yes, I am. How long have you worked here? Just over two years Does it now. feel like longer? Uh, no, no it doesn't. No. That's good. Good, good, good. Okay, today's podcast, um, this is uh, Zach's suggestion and it's uh, the Employee Self-Service Module. Um, why did you suggest this, Zach? Well, when I do customer upgrades, I've realised, not many customers realise that it's a feature that's available to them. Okay, it's a free feature, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so if we start off, Mike, what is the purpose of the employee self-service module what do we get it's the ess module yeah. isn't it yeah so the purpose of the ss module is a way for the employee uh to rec- to basically input certain maps of data so we could do for example recall they can request an absence they can uh check what their hours worth holiday balance is that type of thing yeah they can do all that sort of stuff okay and why do you think people don't know about this because it's it's outside of the normal time work system and it? it's not in the actual and because it's free yeah it's free and it's something the employee uses not like a user so that's okay. the other side so customers that, that have got this set up what's a, what's a typical setup you could just describe uh, to us so a lot of the customers like when we brought it out a couple of years ago it was the idea of it was going to be installing it at site into like onto a canteen PC. Right, so it's used internally within the company. Within the company yeah. yeah, it's not to be used outside the company. It's no. not a mobile app. No, it's uh, it's used on the customer's intranet. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, the network. Yeah. And the idea was that people could use this. Employees could use this to check uh, the holiday entitlements without. Yeah, until... I think that was the main one. The holiday was entitlements. Yeah. So we weren't asking lots of questions yeah, of the HR it. department. Yeah. Okay, what sort of features are included then? A standard. What do you get with the uh, ESS module? So Zach, do, you, do you know some? Have well, you installed any of these? Yeah, I've configured ESS before. What? What's? What was? Without naming the customer, what was the main reason for the customer wanting? Uh, it was mainly for absences. So um, a manager's team yes. could request absences through ESS. Okay. On a PC. And when you say request to absence, request. Like a doctor's a time up for a doctor's appointment, yeah. that type, of, or a holiday. A holiday's a main right. one, yeah. Okay. And they could submit that, and then the managers who would have a full version of Timeware Professional on the PC, yes, they would have access to see what absence have been requested. Okay. And they could manage that then easier. Okay. It gets rid of it. It's more for digital perfect purposes rather than paper based. Okay. And is that time with your? Yeah, you thinking yeah. of a customer yeah. again? Don't name customers, yeah. but what? What? Um, it was where, an what, absence request. So what used mainly to be an absence? Yeah, yeah. Simple terms is it used to be a paper form. Yes. They pass it to HR. They'd have yeah. to key in the absence into time worth okay. client. And obviously, with the ESS, the employee can request the absence through that. Okay. So why why is this not in, in use in more places now? I think, been... I think we we do tend to so what's like when he does his SLA upgrades he, yes. he's setting it up right for example some companies might choose not to use it okay but I think obviously we're all we're telling them that there's this feature available and yes. they might have forgot because it's a year round for okay. the upgrade so we're, we're, we're what what else can we do we, uh, absence is the is a lead yeah, so feature you've got, so in absences there's who's having time off yeah so that's you can check in a different work group or a, a different department or your department who else yeah. is off at the same time so you can check to see and it can be switched two ways can't it? you can actually see the names of the people you can switch it off so, which is 99 percent of them are switched off so yeah. you can't actually see yeah, but you can see somebody's having time off yeah. but you don't know who it is yeah and then you right. can restrict the absences which show so you might not want to show for example a funeral or something like okay that. yes um if if somebody asks for our time off the system isn't awarding the time off straight away, is it? It then goes it's to the manager, as Zach said, yeah. and then the manager has to walk here that. I mean, now, how does the employee find out about that? Everything's an email alert. So, is it? Yeah, on a request of an absence, the yeah. manager gets an email, and on acceptance, or this sounds like a absence. good feature. Why is this not set up everywhere? So the only reason why I, th- I think I saw, obviously, I'm not an installation guy, but when uh, we Luckily when we us. originally brought it up. <laughs> brought it out there was the IIS so it's like yes. an additional 
requirement from IT, which is using a, it's a free feature called Windows I. I. Yeah. Okay, so maybe we just don't push this enough. That'll be it. Yeah. Probably. How many? What? How many people are using this? Would you say? Is it? Is it as percentages? Ten percent? Twenty percent? Out of every install, every maybe around thirty percent. Thirty percent. Okay, so it's. Maybe we need to do a big push on this. Then anything else? What about You've some of the fringe features like job costing, cost entry, yeah, and attendance? So yes, attendance. You can check your previous uh, period. So you can okay. check last week uh, hours, the last month. And so does it have a, ro a roster built in? So well? yeah, you can see thirty days yeah, ahead. Your roster, we call it. Yeah, yeah. That okay. shows the previous uh, future thirty-one days. From the so if if the customer if the customer had uh, sorry if the company had. Um, a, ch a changing uh, shift system, you know, where it was based on on the on demand for that company. Yeah. So if it was uh, if it was going to be very busy over a certain weekend, they may plan additional yeah. shifts that weekend. Yeah, and the employee and, can see that. Right. Okay. That's, it, that's the point. And this is all driven by an email, so an email alert could come through to the yeah, customer. Yeah, we can do an email alert. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Uh, on that? The, the other one that I, I when I obviously do demonstrations is the the sharing of the documents so you okay. can put your company handbook up at that portal all oh, right so okay. some companies use that so th that is a way of distributing the information to many employees yeah, that's yeah. It. yeah okay. so they can see the company handbook so if you get have you seen that in use um no i haven't I've been not, no but you have yes yeah good I, yeah the last one of the last installs you just did we put it right in. okay anything else on the employee self-service so if people are interested in this um, keep this brief really this uh, podcast but if people are interested in this feature is it's, it free yeah it's free if you're um, on support it's free yeah, and can we you, can we set it up remotely if you're on the latest version i'd say so yeah yes so this is a yeah this we is, just need we'll need assistance from it and that's okay it. so if we can get help with your it department this is this is free of charge yeah um, there are no plans to make this chargeable in the future, are they? I know that what we've got planned is ESS Go, which, which is going to be a, a mobile app, which yeah. um, we're going to re release in over the next three years, um, which is a chargeable um, uh, feature. But this this is a this is That's a freebie, it, yeah. and we're planning on keeping this for the foreseeable future. Right. So, if anybody's got any questions, any further questions about this, if they want to direct them to support. Yeah. Yep. So that's um, uh, support at timeware.co.uk and the phone number is 0044 um, 1706 And I forgot to ask you if there's anything interesting happening this week. And normally I ask at the very start. Oh, the garage door fell down. The very garage door fell down. <laughs> yeah. Off. And it was Arctic conditions. Was it? <laughs> yeah. But uh, you survived. I survived, yeah. Good. Fantastic. <laughs> Good news. Right, thank you, Zach. It was nice. You'll have to call in again. Cheers, Mike. Thank you, everybody. See you later. Bye-bye.